Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today I am going to be unboxing and I guess demoing slash showing you guys a new humidifier that was kindly sent to me by Alec Holmes. If you guys don't already know, we have been using the Lavoit humidifier beside the plant shelf throughout the winter and it's been a total game changer and we've really been wanting one for another room in our house. So I'm super stoked to try this one out. Okay, so we're gonna open it. So this is the box that it came in and I have been waiting for like a week to open it because I wanted to make this video. So I'm super excited to finally be opening it and setting it up. Maybe I'll take it out this one. A few moments later. <gasps> okay, so this is what the box looks like. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, let's check out some of the features. If you guys have a humidifier or multiple humidifiers for your houseplants, which I think a lot of people that are really into houseplants do, then you know what a big difference it makes, especially for the winter time. Um, especially if you live somewhere cold and you have to have your, your heating on in your house, then the air gets really dry. So um, I think that it's definitely part of the reason why my plants have kind of pulled through the winter and been doing okay. So I'm really excited to have another one. I think I'm gonna put one of them in our bedroom and then have one of them out here by the plant shelf. So this humidifier is the model SH8820. I will have it all in the description box below. And I don't wanna to forget to mention that they actually did give me a discount code for you guys. So the code is, I believe, EHPLANT20 and that will get you 20% off if you wanna check out any of their humidifiers. Okay, so this guy is 5.5 liters, so it'll probably last a good couple of days before I need to refill it. It says that it can humidify up to 755 square feet, so it would be good for a large room. It does warm and cool mist, which is nice. Um, it does have sleep mode. You can put it on a timer, and um, it's all like touch touch screen buttons and then a little LED light for the humidity percentage. And it does also come with a little remote, which is really handy. And this is one of my favorite things when humidifiers have this. I honestly think that they all should have this, but it has the double little spinny thing so that you can point it in two different directions wherever you want it to go. I don't know what this little vent, I think this might be for essential oils. I'll have to look, but yeah, that's interesting. And then, let me see how you fill it. Oh, oh, that's so handy. So it looks like you just fill it right into the top. Oh, it even comes out. Babe. Look at how easy this one is to fill. It comes out oh. from the top. That's so handy. That's exciting. <laughs> that's way handier than the other one. You like your helmet? Okay, so let's just set this bad boy up and play with some of the functions and see how it goes. Oh! Whoa. Okay, so I just plugged it in and you can see that right here is where it is showing the current humidity. So I'm gonna add some water. How do I do this again? that off take out the little handy bucket okay oh she's going <laughs> okay it looks so modern and futuristic okay okay so i set it to the maximum amount of mist actually let's put it on medium i usually keep it on medium um timer no 
So we can set the percent that we want the humidity to be maintained at, which I usually put like 70%. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on cool mist, but there is the option for warm mist. And then I guess you can um, set it to sleep. I think this turns the screen off. Yeah. So if this is in a bedroom or something and you don't want the LED screen to be on, then you can turn it off. I'm gonna leave it on. So as you can see, my current humidity is at 54%, which actually isn't bad. Um, that's pretty good. It's like rainy here today, but we do still have our heating on, so it's not as high as I would like it to be. But after I leave this running for a couple of hours, it'll probably be close to 70%. Okay, so as far as design goes regarding user friendliness and aesthetics i think that this thing is awesome love the way it looks was super easy to set up took me like a whole 30 seconds um i would say that it is quite similar to the lavoie humidifier my other one which i know a lot of people are really fond of however i must say that i do like the way that you fill this one up so much better the lavoie one i love it but it is quite annoying to fill so it often gets left empty for like a couple of days at a time because nobody wants to fill it which is really lazy but it's just a pain in the butt um so i definitely love that this one is top filled and you can just take it up but yeah i can definitely keep you guys posted regarding my thoughts on this humidifier okay so moving along from that portion of the video i think for i want i want to do like kind of like a two-part thing i think for the rest of the video i want to show you guys some of the new spring growth on some of my plants because i've just been so excited watching all the new leaves come in um yeah so let's kind of give you an update on how everyone's doing and let's check out some of their baby leaves okay so i think we're gonna start at the plant shelf here this is exciting okay are you ready oh boy do you see it oh my gosh look at her look at how cute she is oh my gosh so my anthurium clarinervium has had this baby and if you have an anthurium you know how cool it is when their new leaves come out because they come out as like tiny tiny little leaves and then they just like balloon larger so this leaf will eventually get as big as probably this one right here so it's really fascinating to watch i'm gonna put her back here so she can face um the little girl bulb there this is my philodendron micans which i was propagating for a couple months and i just potted it doesn't look too hot right now so i'm just waiting for it to put out another leaf if this camera will focus there we go another leaf is going to come from there i'm just being patient waiting for her oh yeah we have a new leaf down here so this is my alocasia african mask and she's putting out a new leaf there i'm honestly kind of surprised that this thing even made it through the winter because i know a lot of the time they go dormant so yeah i'm super stoked to see that she made it and she's putting out new growth there oh yeah this one too <laughs> i get so excited over the new leaves my begonia maculata just out of nowhere um i noticed that it had this new baby leaf and i swear it just appeared one day i didn't even see it coming or anything but I got this plant, oh, how long ago now? I don't know, a month or two ago from Lowe's and um, repotted it recently and was kind of unsure whether it was doing okay or not. And then I saw this baby leaf, so it gives me some reassurance that she's doing okay. And then she also has like a little sprout down there. Who else? Oh yeah, my stingray. My alocasia stingray down here also has a new leaf and it looks like a big one coming in. Like, look at that, holy crap. I never thought I would see the day where this plant had more than three leaves, but here we are, looking good. Over here, my giant alocasia regal shield, literally this thing is so big, that's my foot. Um, is also putting out a leaf. It just looks like a little one, but still very exciting. Our bird of paradise over here, which is getting freaking huge, is pushing out this new leaf. 
Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so tall. It's probably gonna be taller than us when that leaf comes out, seriously. My Hoya pubicalyx has also been growing like wild. I love how the new leaves on this thing come out so dark too. They're so cool looking. Oh, new leaf here on my philodendron imperial red, I think it's called. I can't wait until this thing gets big. My Raphidophora, if you saw my last video, you know the story behind this guy, but it has new growth there. Very exciting. My pothos are always, always growing. My Calathea medallion has been putting out new growth like mad as well. Okay, this is a new baby leaf right here. This thing is huge now. It's gonna need to be repotted. And my Adansonii, which is growing like a weed as well. I'm propagating some of it so that I can make it thicker on the top, but it looks so healthy. It's loving this bulb. Um, my Synconium elbow has been looking sad. It keeps losing leaves lately. It's not so good. I have been waiting for my Monstera Thai Constellation to put out a new leaf for so long and it's gonna happen soon, folks. It's gonna happen. I had to cut another one off, which is so disappointing. So she's in the two leaf club now, but it's gonna be three soon. I've honestly been waiting for this leaf for like three months. So I'm hoping cutting off the one that wasn't doing very well is gonna give her a boost. Hoya Crimson Queen. These are like all white and pink, it's crazy. Oh yeah, this fiddle leaf fig that I killed in the winter time, it's come back. It has like five leaves now just at the very top. Once again, my Diefenbachia Tiki. Um, looking sad. This thing is always looking sad. I literally don't know what it wants from me. It usually looks like this when it's dry. So I went to water it today and it's still moist. So that's not the problem. So I'm like, uh oh, what's the problem now? But even though it's dying, it's still giving me new growth. So I really don't know. If anyone has any tips for Diefenbachia, let me know because mine all look like this. It's so annoying. My Hoya Yetii is always looking good. Always putting out new growth. Love him. And we do have a couple of air plants, and it looks like this one's putting out a new growth, I guess, right there. It's just getting, getting its monthly soak now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I will chat with you there. Also, if you have any video ideas for planty or non-planty, whatever, whatever video topics you'd like me to do, let me know. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, have an awesome day you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.